What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you how I pull my uh, jig heads. I got a few jigs I need to be uh, need to be getting out. So I'm gonna try to pull up a few heads and get them good to go. And uh, got my do it mold. And got my uh, lead pot. Got it heating already. Loading up my jig heads with uh, my hooks. I'm going to pour 1 16th ounce and 1 30 seconds. The, um, 16th ounce uses the number 4 hook, and I like these sickle hooks. They seem to hook and keep them hooked real good. Go ahead and get them all loaded up and then get my mold up there heating. Let's see. all set down into place good all right close my mold up while i'm waiting on uh, my lid to melt down i got my mold sitting up on top here to help warm it up it's got a little port here to help get the heat in there but i'll take it set it up there and flip it around the whole time it's warming it a warm mold helps that lid pour better all right lid's good and hot got my mold nice and warm I'm going to see about pouring a few of these things right quick. Just make sure it's all working right here. Just take it under there, lift the lever. Always making sure you hold your mold good and tight. Try to line it up just right. All right, let that sit for just a second. All right, they, they all seem to turn out pretty good except for this one here probably didn't have my mold hot enough you can see it didn't didn't run down all the way but we'll take him put him to the side but all the rest of them seem to have turned out pretty good what i like to do next is take my dikes here and snip off that extra little bit of lead move them to the side Anytime you're pouring lead, you need to be in a well-ventilated area also. It, uh, this stuff is not good for you. All right, on to my 132nd heads. These you got to be just a little careful with and get a little bit extra on the top when you cut them. Once I get them all cut, you take those little extra pieces of lead, little sprues, and put them back in your lead pot. Melt back down. Anyways, get my mold out of the way here. Then, once I get them cut, get them like I like it here, I'll take a file. Get up on the top, you can see where them dikes left the imprint there. Just take and file that down. Nice and smooth. Try to keep it rounded over, so. That's all it is to it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please.